The Messenger. Uh, I've seen, I saw this because I love uh, war movies that are not particularly about the war part of the war, if, if you if you know what I mean. Uh, and this is about telling uh, the families of people who died in war that uh, the loved ones are dead, and it's it's really really good and it's really really heartbreaking at times. It's it's. It's, it becomes so heartbreaking that it's almost unbearable to watch. I can't imagine how hard this job must be in real life. Uh, so it's about uh, uh, Ben Foster's character who's a veteran from uh, Afghanistan, I think it is. Uh, he has three months left on his... Uh, army uh, contract so he gets um, this job to go around and, and tell people that their loved one loved one have died and uh, to do this he uh, teams up with uh, Woody Harrelson who's been doing this for years and they just uh, go around and, and tell these uh, people fathers and wives and yeah families that that their loved one has has passed away and it's just so hard to watch but uh, there's this one woman who's now become a widow that uh, Ben Foster's character falls in love with and really hits it off with so he he kind of he, he starts to stalk her a bit and Meanwhile, he he still has feelings for his old girlfriend, and he crashes her wedding, and all kinds of shit. It really is a, a good good movie, but it's also a very very hard movie to watch, and it's very heartbreaking. On the scale from one to five stars, I I have to give it a three and a half because it's it's just a very very good movie. But it's uh, some of the subplots just doesn't get developed enough, and there are, are a few um, a few uh, loose ends that doesn't get tied up sufficiently. The technical side of the release is is pretty good. Like uh, I said about uh, the blind side. It's a new movie and it looks like you would expect from a movie released in 2010. So uh, the video and, and, and the audio, they are good, but they are not like greatest ever, but they do their job and they do them well. Uh, the extra features on this release ain't very good. Um, there are a few, but it's like five minute documentaries and, and yeah, no, no, far from enough. I would have loved to seen some about how the script was written and, and, and the source of uh, information, but there isn't. Um, there are a bunch of trailers on here as extras. And I have to mention uh, Saint John from Las Vegas is uh, is on here as a trailer, and I hate that movie so fucking much. Uh, so I don't know why the hell there's a trailer for it on here. But the uh, the movie it, it's it's good. It's it's pretty good. It's a uh, got an anti-war feel about it, and it's a uh, it's a good war movie without dealing with actual war. So I'd, I would recommend it to anyone who loves those kind of movies. And uh, also uh, people who love a good drama. They would also uh, benefit from watching this.